The mayor of Bristol was confronted by angry residents today at the scene of the weekend's fatal tower block fire. People living in Twinell House demanded to know why Marvin Rees hadn't been to see them sooner after a man fell 16 floors trying to escape the blaze. Lee Madden reports. It was a hostile reception at Twinnell House for the mayor today. It's embarrassing for him to show on, uh, you know, I mean, his face like after four days when the incident happened. He was, uh, he's the one who's representing for this city. And basically he didn't have time to come in to show his respect. We lost one of our own who lives in the building. And then that's the city he's representing. It's now four days since Abdul Jabbar Aria Khal fell to his death while trying to escape a fire on the 16th floor. Today, three police officers were called to the building to help calm tensions. Once Marvin Rees was inside, residents say relations did improve. People did talk, calm down and listen, you know, there was no point in screaming and shouting, you didn't get anywhere, do you? How many people were in the meeting? Probably only about 15 or 20. So that's not many when you think how many people live here. Why do you think most people chose not to go? A lot of people are worried. Uh, they're worried of uh, repercussions from the council, but also apathy. It, it, it's that, oh, we've heard it all before. We had a very constructive conversation with residents uh, just about uh, the building itself, how it was supposed to work in the, in the event of a fire. Uh, which and the building did work the way it was supposed to work. The fire was contained. Uh, people were able to leave in an orderly way. One thing that a number of residents have told us is that they are angry that it has taken you four days to get here. Why has it taken so long? Well, the, the important thing is to make sure that all the processes are in place to keep people safe. But why has it taken you four days? Well, I wasn't in the city. There's no sprinkler system in the flats at Twinnell House. There's no doubt that they do reduce risk, but I think the key thing here is the measures in place for this building worked well. The compartmentation did not fail. The cladding was not involved in the fire. The alarm system functioned as we expected. The City Council's Cabinet are due to look into investment in sprinkler systems next week. Lee Madden, BBC Points West, Bristol.